I think the greatest influence was my father's record store, because everything was there. I'm, I mean everything. My brother and I, our first job in the store was going to the basement and breaking records. Because uh, in those days, uh, it was the, uh, the old 78s, and uh, you got a 10 cent refund on all the broken records. So we broke the records, put them in boxes and sent them back. And then besides that, my father was, was going uh, in, into other stores all through uh, Maryland and, and, West, and Virginia, West Virginia, and buying up records that people couldn't sell. Then we were breaking them and returning them and getting 10 cents for each record. I had to know everything in the store. First of all, I was, by the time I was 15, I was a, the buyer for the store. And so I was, uh, at 15 or 16, I was, I was studying Schoenberg and uh, Berg and, and Charles Ives. You know, that was not, that, that was not unknown to me. I, we had to know it. So I learned a lot from being in that store. I learned, uh, I, I, I never thought of music in terms of uh, classical music or concert music and popular music. I, I, I thought of it as good music and bad music. And, and some, of the bad, some of the good music was other people considered very bad, and I didn't care. I, I, actually, I didn't care what people bought, I, but I had to know what they were buying. If they, if they said they, they came and said, I want to get a, Be a Beethoven, I want to get the Beethoven. I said, well, well, and I would say, well, do you like it fast or slow? And they said, well, if you want it fast, you get Tuscan. If you want it slow, you get Furtwein or, or Walter. I said, or, or do you want something more modern? We'll give you, we'll, we'll, we'll get Leonard, Leonard Bernstein, you know, something that's, even better. And I was a kid, I was 14, 15 years old, 16 years old. Um, but they believed me because I actually, I, it looked like I knew and I didn't know. So, so the biggest influence was learning all that music.